Non-vintage um, sparkling. Okay. How are you meant to drink them? <laughs> we don't like spitting out. Okay. That's wasting. Oh, that's lovely. Now this one is completely different again. Again, to show that we're not a one-horse town. Mm -hmm. This is called Willowbrook. Now this is very much more aromatic. Oh yeah. Almost floral. I don't know what it smells like. I can't pinpoint the smell mm -hmm. there. And this will um, compete with quite a spicy flavour. Mm. You'd be able to drink that with a, you know, a chilli or a corn. Oh, I can imagine drinking that with curry. Yeah. yeah. That's a lovely little willow. That is my... Mm. I definitely prefer it to go with my But It's weird the difference in the colours. It's yes. almost white. Yes, it's very clear. How come that's clear? Again, it's a different type of grape. Okay. Uh, just how it's produced again. Mm. Um, all those are blended wines. It tells you the grapes that we use here. Okay. Um, the single variety wines are very much more difficult to produce mm. because it all depends on how the weather's been, what the ground's like. Mm. So it's very hard to keep a consistent taste. Yeah. Whereas with a blended wine, they can, because obviously year on year, we want to keep them fairly level so that if somebody comes and likes the May Hill, they want to be able to taste the May Hill mm. next year for it to be yeah. very, very similar. So it's much easier with a blended wine to do that. Mm. But saying that, um, our, our sort of premium range of wines, which are a little bit more expensive, which we kind of like a third of the yeah. the last year. <laughs> um, we've won lots of awards for those because they do produce some really, really nice. The Seagull Gaber, which is our Yeah, <laughs> you can't lose track. So, 